Um, are you guys have all learned this wiring diagram? Is this familiar to people in one shape or form? So, uh, you know, th this is why we think this works is that you have this pathway through the nuclei of the basal ganglia. You have a direct and an indirect pathway. When you have Parkinson's disease, there is this imbalance between these two pathways with the indirect pathway suddenly being overactive, the STN and the GPI firing uh, too aggressively. And, and ultimately you suppress uh, activity, activation from thalamus to cortex. Uh, and so this has suggested several targets, which are not really the right color here. I think because I changed the slide background, but you get the idea that if you aim at these various targets, you can relieve the tremor. And that's really what was demonstrated by Irvin Cooper at the beginning. Um, so why stimulation? You know, we, for a long time, I mean, in, in, in you know, in, in the last two decades, as when I started doing this, it really wasn't clear what stimulation was doing. Uh, people thought that you know, it was, it was clearly high frequency stimulation that appeared to be important uh, to, to treat the disease and people called it a virtual lesion. You're doing the same thing for decades. We had done these types of stereotactic lesions in those same nuclei that worked well. Somehow, you know, 100 hertz or, or more uh, stimulation seemed to do the same thing. Some people thought we were exhausting uh, the, the, you know, the uh, synaptic terminals and, and therefore sort of depleting uh, the circuits from being able to fire further. Uh, today, I think we are increasingly understanding that what we are doing is uh, sort of rectifying an, an aberrant oscillation that is uh, is induced in these in these patients. So, some you know, in in most cases, when you have a disruption of motor activity, you will find in recording in those areas frequently uh, beta frequency signal about 24 hertz uh, oscillations. And if you can treat those in some way, either with medication, which does seem to treat it, or uh, or by uh, directly intervening, uh, you you can uh, you can relieve uh, the motor motor effects. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from NeurosurgeryTraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.